I've been wanting to make a talk like this for a while, talk about the brain, the soul and the consciousness of a human and what it all means, because it's just such an incredible subject to think about, because we're obviously brains that, that pilot human bodies, right? Unless you have some kind of holistic approach where you see the whole body as one thing and you don't distinguish between brain and body. And I, I guess t to a point that's warranted because you've got like the spinal cord and uh, the, the little part of the brain that, that's attached to the spinal cord that's basically not the main brain, but it's it, it handles stuff like the beating of the heart. But for... Well, for this purpose, anyways, I'm just going to say that all the, the neural cells are, are the brain, even though they're spread out through the body, but mostly in the head. So, we've got a, a bunch of cells, but then the unexpected thing is that we've got ourselves. Because, I'm, am I just a bunch of, of brain cells that work together? It's hard to tell, because it seems like there's more to it, because I can... I can see through my eyes and I can touch with my hands and then I can make choices and I can test theories and I can I can pick up things and put them on other things. All kinds of actions that you don't really... Hmm, do animals do these things? I guess they do to an extent. So that's... Am I just a, a biological computer? Is that what, what's happening? That's that's the the question. But if I am such a such a computer, then why why do I have conscience? Why do I question my existence and stuff? Because if I was a computer, I would just do what's in the programming, right? Or well, I guess in the programming is to to be intelligent and to think about things, and then well, I mean. Ultimately, in the program, it will be to reproduce, but I guess that's not going to be my main <laughs> my main priority at all. So, I guess already deviant. But then there's lots of people that don't care so much about reproducing these days. So, is my experience as a human the same as the experience of another human? Do they all do they all see through their eyes and feel with their hands in a way that that gives them? This, this notion that they are the center of the universe and they, they make all the choices that that matter in their life. They, they can move they can move an object, they can, they can eat food. If they don't eat food, they die, but they choose to eat food. Maybe they eat too much food. There's so many choices, but just the way... I mean, if you program a computer that has a camera and, and a, an arm, is then they're going to be a, a a computer soul that that sees through the eyes of that camera and then picks up things with that arm. It, it's that, that that is my question. Well, that's one question. So, if you program a computer to do the things a human does, does that mean that the computer then also has like this first person view of of doing those things? And do animals have... It, it, when, when the animal exists, does the animal see through its own eyes and, and, and move its body parts and make, make thoughts about, about what it is to be? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just hard for me to understand because if, if I was a computer of, made of cells, would I be able to... I mean, see, this is it. The camera is made of pixels, right? And then you can have, you can print out the picture, you could display it on a computer screen, but how is this, this picture of my eyes, where is that displayed? Because is it in my, is it in my brain? Because the... Does that make sense that this picture and this this consciousness is that in my brain? Because if the picture is just neural impulses in the brain, cells impulsing to each other, then how is it possible that it's it's as if I was 
as if the picture was rendered in front of me, as if I was watching into a, a, a screen that's displaying my, my eyes. How, how is that possible? Because... <laughs> if it's just for the brain, then it wouldn't have to be visualized in, in a screen form, right? Because the, the way it works is just... It's just for the brain, it's just going from one cell to another, and there's never ever a point where, where the picture is just one thing, and it's being looked at, right? It's just one part of the picture goes to, to another cell that, that... It just feels more as if I was a player that's moving this body, as if I was playing a computer game, and it feels as if I was this this computer that's evolved to to move the body in, in a way that that fulfills its biological needs, such as eating and sleeping. Hmm, but maybe I'm just being an idiot, and maybe it is just that. Maybe I just just think that there's more to me, but there isn't. Maybe I'm just a, such a computer. But it, 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 it's just that there is so much more to it. It just feels like there's more to it, and that's, I guess, my whole theory. So that's what I'm referring to when I speak about the soul, is this this so-called player that's that's piloting this body. And the question is, what happens to the soul when we die? What happens to the soul if the brain gets damaged? What if my eyes get destroyed? What if the, the, the nerve to my eyes gets destroyed? Do I stop seeing things? Well, I guess I would do, wouldn't I? But do I lose the ability to visualize things because it's the same part of the brain that that puts together the the pixels of the eye into a picture. Do, if that part of the brain is destroyed, then do I forget how things look that I've seen previously? Do I, does, does, do I even get affected by all these things? Am I just somewhere else? Am I just some kind of remote-controlled player that's that's playing the the game of life from from a safe place? <laughs> what if? What if the soul was like that, and we we all play this this crazy game? Maybe it's multiplayer. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe it's single player, and you guys are all NPCs. Who could tell? And maybe when we maybe when we die, just we we just get to play something else. Maybe we get to play another human. It's it's all such hard things to 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 think about. So basically, that's that's I guess the soul would be that the the bright the brain is. The brain is controlled by something else that isn't in the brain. That's the the theory that I'm I'm contemplating here, even though I suppose that that really seems more of a self-aggrandizement, doesn't it? But if you think about it, surely you think that way about yourself too, right? Do you, or do you feel that that you are in fact just a just a handful of brain cells that that happen to have reach some kind of understanding of the world. And importantly, what, what happens? What happens if we have a child? Does that child have a soul or is it just on autopilot? What, what if... How, how many souls are there? <laughs> do the, do, is there one soul for every human? Is there one soul for every animal? Do computers get souls when we program them to, to behave like humans? What does what does all of it mean? <laughs> this is to answer these questions is surely why we've created religions and such to make it so that the, that our actions are more meaningful than they really are. To to be moral is more important than than just to 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 not offend everyone. To be moral is more important than just to not get punished for your crimes because. According to religion, we, we go to heaven or hell, and it all depended on how we, we lived our lives. Mm. Well, what do you think? Please tell me. Do, do you have a soul, people of the tubes? <laughs> are you all playing the game of life? Or are you just on autopilot and just going through life? And that's not, not, diog it's not being a dick here, because you could potentially have all... These things we do, they're all part of the human experience. So you could be on 
you, you could be controlled by only your brain and you could still be able to to do all these things and it, we don't even know if if there is a soul or if a soul is required to have these kind of thoughts that we have <sighs> yeah well i wanted to do this video and now i've done this video and I, I feel like i've i've learned nothing and i've i've taught you nothing and what does it all mean <laughs> I, I guess I've just asked a bunch of questions over the, the time of this video, not come up with any answers, but I guess there isn't really any way that there could be answers for it. We we perceive the world through our own means. We, we only know of the world that exists right outside our bodies that we can see with our eyes and feel with our hands. We don't even know if the rest of the world is, is existent. If the, if the rest of the world is is simulated in the same level of detail that our immediate surroundings are. We don't even know if the planets of the world are, are simulated with the same level of detail. And, I mean, I say simulated, but I mean calculated. You could simulate the planets by, by there actually being planets. I'm not saying that I'm believing that everything is, un, is not real. It's as real as, as we can see it, surely. Well, what if it's what if it's just not real? I guess it could not be real, and maybe it's all a program. And there's just they didn't even bother rendering the whole planet because it's impossible to see them from Earth. All all we know about the planets is that they that they take up the light that comes from stars, and that's how we can guess that there's planets because we don't actually have my we don't actually have telescopes that are powerful enough to see the planets. There's really not much beyond this Earth that uh, humans have touched. Arguably, they've gone to the moon, but they've only experienced like a, a tiny part of the moon. So that could have also just been simulated. And maybe it just loaded in as soon as they went up. <laughs> what about the, the core of the Earth? Maybe maybe that's all just, just fake too. Maybe that's just a, a huge source of, of energy that's that's in there, but it's not actually made of billions of trillions of, of atoms. Maybe it's just just one little thing that's like a, a, a game development asset and it's just simulating lava, simulating a huge pile of lava. <laughs> Who knows? It's all so mysterious. And we know so little of it. And we don't know if there's more than what we know. Obviously. <laughs> but maybe there is and maybe there isn't. Maybe it's all just a simulation. Well, I mean, I don't like the the idea that, that people say it's all just a simulation as if it was such a, such a brilliant thought that no one would have come up with. But, I mean, we wouldn't know if it was a simulation. That's, that's all I'm saying. And I'm I'm just I just like to think about what 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 it would be like if it was a simulation. Would they would they bother to simulate all of the planets, or just ours? Would they simulate all of the stars? What about black holes? Even do they do they exist? Do, are they made of billions of atoms, or are they just one big atom that that just takes up one line of code and it's just here's one atom. It's got. Way more mass than usual atoms, though, <laughs> and it just absorbs all the light. So we wouldn't even, we don't even see it, anyways. Maybe everything that goes into a black hole just gets deleted, and it all just combines into one big atom. Yeah, we don't even know how atoms work either, because we 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 don't have the means to look into atoms. They they could. <clears throat> They, they could be like binary particles of, well, not binary, they could be like particle effects in a video game and they just work together to, to create things. But you don't know to which extent they, they actually have detail to them. We know that there's an electron, well, there's a number of electrons, but an electron cannot be seen because to see an electron is to, to change the electron because if, it's, if it gets hit by a ray of, of light, the, the ray of light's gonna push that electron just anywhere. It, it's gonna, it's just gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna be where it was before the light hit it. So you, you can only see the the electron in one moment. 
so you don't know where it's been before and you don't know where it is after. You're probably never going to see it again, in fact, because the light has knocked it away. So it's all... We, we don't know anything about these things. Maybe these things are oh, oh, as detailed as planets and maybe they, they're just as detailed as, as bits and bytes in a computer array. Like, like single bits and bytes in a computer. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's been a huge ramble about existence and such. Please tell me if you like to hear more things like that. I got more more philosophy going on like this that I could talk about. So, like this video if you've come this far. Bye, and subscribe for more.